Greetings, Alexei here with another update on Open Apocalypse. In this update, well, let's talk about things I've implemented uh, this time. So first of all, agents. There is now a list of agents for all the other kinds of agents except the soldiers. So the scientists and the engineers. And let's get something to show. Uh, one moment. Yep. So let's hire some agents. Let's see. Yes. So now, if we... Is it a physicist? No, it's a biochemist. Okay, I'm I'm rambling here. <laughs> Anyways, first of all, this screen is now properly working, so it shows these things are aligned properly, the text below is aligned properly, and the agents are properly displayed, so it's five per row, and the skills on the right, and everything looks cool, like this. But also what I wanted to show is that this screen will... Like, when you click a button, show you the correct lab with the correct agent. So, where is the Alex? Is it him? Yes, so we clicked him and we show the lab which has him here. We click her, we show the lab with her. So, that's in. And when we hire people, we see the person coming in. Like, this person will now order taxi and come to our base. We see his icon that he's in a building. And here's his taxi coming. And now we will see him moving to base. Then this screen is done. The screen which shows hostile units. So these are cult of series. That's why they're shown here. And as, as per vanilla behavior, if you select the vehicle which is not yours, it also is shown here. And it transitions to this tab when you do it, when you click it twice. Organizations are shown here, and you can see, like, right click or right click to see their Ufopedia page, left click to see their buildings around the city, like the Megapole stations, Cult of Sirius temples, and also all these options also work, like which show friendly organizations, neutral, unfriendly, hostile, and so on. Okay, that's it for the in, in the, this improvement and the second improvement um it's not yet fully implemented but we have economy so we are reading the data about the game economy and we are parsing it and this screen is implemented partially it doesn't yet properly function like it doesn't update it you, you can't really buy and sell stuff but it shows that the economy information is read from the files so the game properly shows the price and uh, what is available for purchase and the amount for purchase. And um, also, they are listed in a reasonable, like, the ammunition is under the weapons. It belongs to, like this, like, here is the gun clip and the cannon clip. Where is the laser weapon? Um, Megapole low pistol, laser pod, yes. So yes, everything is here. I'll fix this slider, which is off the place. And same thing for the... For the ships, I mean for the vessels, for the flying vehicles. Like the, the fuel, the engines, and the equipment. It shows 10 because we are giving every 10 of everything to the player to try out. So that's why it shows 10 of everything here. And same for the ground vehicles, ground vehicle equipment and, and stuff, and ammunition for it. So this is all in. I don't really know yet how to like implement it. I mean, how to make it properly work. So it oh, oh, lets you fully like fully work like in vanilla because in vanilla you could buy from different like bases at once. So for example, you have like four bikes, you buy two bikes at this base. And then you buy another one at this base, another at this base, and you come back to this screen, it now shows that there is like, there are two bikes remaining, but when you switched here and come back, there are now zero bikes remaining because you bought bikes to the other base, or you could sell it at one base and buy at the other base, so you can sell like, sell your uh, bolters here and buy them at the other base and so on. 
all that and don't know how to implement it yet, but it will be implemented, obviously, <laughs> eventually. For now, though, for now, that's, that's, I think that's it for this video. Oh, this update will be up soon. You will be able to try it yourself. Yeah, and you can now collapse buildings. Like this. <laughs> okay, that was loud. You can write Ctrl Shift right click and the whole building goes down. Maybe for the test purposes, but it looks funny. You can just have fun destroying stuff. Down, 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 down. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for this update. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next video. Goodbye.